Hey guys, welcome to African and Bio. We create content that is affordable, clean, easy, and will definitely give you the glow that you're looking for, the glow that you deserve, the glow that I know for real, for real, that is yours. Welcome everybody. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. This is African Empire for those that don't know. If you do, welcome back. If you like what you see, stay and subscribe. So guys, today we are on our diary session and we've been doing. On this one, we are coming with healing. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a story of mine of how I maintained my healing with a lot of traumas and how I'm such a happy girl worldwide lately and getting my glow because you, cause you guys know that we get our glow internally and externally so this is part of me sharing how I got my internal glow a little bit of it and then hoping we'll see you guys will be inspired and also do that for yourselves because I have even learned to healing you tend to just enjoy life as it goes Okay, so with that being said, let's get to work. So guys, um, it's always a hectic thing coming here because I'm always like, oh, I hope, I hope this, da 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 you know? Yeah, but anyways, I'm glad to be here. So guys, basically, uh, where can I even start my story? Mo moving on to the videos that I've done already. So I'm coming to you now live to just talk about the process of healing and the importance of it. Well, what it has done for me is it has helped me with my identity as I was telling you guys on previous videos. And not just that, but a lot of understanding when it comes to even life and my journey as it comes so yeah guys those are one of them the things that i wanted to talk about the concepts rather so i was a very before everything happened remember it's a journey and you really don't know it, when it starts but the transformation just begins and then you get to adapt to it and then when time goes you find out to go to oh i'm actually a better person when it comes to understanding da, 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 da. Mina guys like a brief of things my temper was this short I'm not saying right now it's like my temper is longer but I'm saying it's better I had a short temper in most of the things and also my defense mechanism was on a top notch level well that comes from childhood traumas you guys know we also deal with those so basically with that i i was a very naughty i don't know if i was too naughty when i was growing up or it tend to uh, um it took me to a place where i always got into trouble like as a small baby so not a small baby as such in my teens yeah let's use my teens because that's where all the adolescents even start we think we know things and stuff and then you'll find parents always saying hey linda hey, did you wash dishes i would always be the childhood dodges i was very hyper i was hyper i was into those scouts you see i'm a scout like whereby we go for art things we go to your guitar, um, we go and do art things like so I would always leave the chores and get ballet and go and do those things. So I was a very hyper kid, like, and because at home a lot of the time I was misunderstood, it brought up that defense mechanism in me and now that i'm older i'm realizing what it is and i'm realizing what it was at the time so yeah even growing up and life and then now you have to get into things like i'm um, occupations mind you we're talking i'm done with school fast forward and then it's getting to a point now it's becoming a thing whereby even if it, uh, someone is complimenting me i would want to defend and say ah, why why are you mostly what do you want you know it will always be a thing of me having that different defense mechanism rather to always thinking people are coming for me you know even if they're showing love so it was a hectic thing 
So I had to get better at that, which now I really um accept compliments better as much as I'm very shy, like I'm very shy when it comes to I never know what to do. Like, okay, when I'm com being complimented, I'm always like, Oh, thank you. Well, let's move on. Because I'm always like, yo, but I'm, I don't know how to take compliments, you know. If you've grown uh, when you were younger, your whole story was just being in trouble, being in trouble, being in trouble. Even just for the vague things, guys. Or maybe they, at the time I thought maybe they didn't like me or stuff. But now that I'm old, I'm thinking it was okay. Maybe fairly I was very problematic and guys. But yeah, it um, I turned out to be okay. <laughs> so yeah, where am I going with this? I'm going with this to just get into my healing. So I needed to give you guys a background of some of the things that I've seen improvement on. So that's one of them. So yeah, uh, I, I, I've learned to see Ubutiyo is becoming better. I'm, I can't say like I'm not defensive at all anymore. I do have it because a lot of times I had to stand my ground. Because guys, as I was saying on the other video, Ubuti, I, I, I do have that naive type of face. So not about oh, innocent angel. Oh, otherwise, did did and they, all the time I have to remind people who to okay, remember. So it comes there now, which is beta. It's, it comes when it's necessary, when it's needed. And what's another thing that I spoke about? It's defense and what? Um, you know who you are to be with, but it. Thank you, Coach. Okay. But let's move to the defeat. Let's talk about that one. I'll just talk about them one by one. Anyways, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that, I've seen a lot of improvement. Okay, sharp. With healing, for those that don't know, for you to heal a lot of things in life, whether it's romantic traumas, parents' traumas, any traumas in your circumstances or as a person. You have to identify the problem it's okay what is the problem for you to know what you're solving right because it's not easy for you to solve something that you don't even know what it is so as i'm stating for me it was okay because defense is a big thing that i was a very defensive person who doesn't take even my compliments i mean a compliment is a nice thing it should be taken very positively but for me oh i would think you know so yeah it was that thing so i'm getting to my point right now i know it was a little bit of history in the beginning anyways i'm an african child of course i have a history like anybody else i would assume so yeah let's talk about now the reason behind creating this video okay fast forward i'm gonna skip a lot of things that i don't think are necessary for this concept okay da, 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 life goes on fast forward i moved to this province yo i moved to this province See, initially i'm moving to this province occupation wise i didn't have much information of the family i had yet but i always know but see, there was a time my stepdad would say he comes from a case at any and then i wouldn't ask a lot of details because at the point at some point i was young i was very ignorant when it comes to finding information you see okay p and done you know okay fine first forward i moved to this province beautiful province i admire case and if you know me i'm a person that i'll bring my honest opinions about a lot of places that i've been in and i've been in so many places that now i can I can calculate the difference or I can tell the difference with what I get from here, what I get from here. Okay, Shabu. Hi, Bo. I'm not going to get into the spirituality of it, but I will try. I'm not sure if you guys, all of you guys understand that concept or you are interested rather. Okay, Shabu. Hi, Bo. I arrived in this province. I find so much peace. Mind you, um, coming from a dark place, see, I'm a trauma and what, 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 what. And then I moved to the province, right, to KZA. Well, as you guys have seen, have seen from the thumbnail, 
KZN has healed me. So you guys are wondering, in what way has it healed me? It has healed me in so many ways, guys. Most of them would be understanding that it's okay for people to love me and it's okay for me to love myself. I've learned so much love when I was here and I've gotten to learn a lot about my identity because for once in my life, I had time to myself. As I told you guys, I am a, a very busy person, like get Tanda Okuba associated with people. I like to be in in active environments. It's my thing. So okay, I come to this province and everything's like Zen. There's not much like pity pity, let me put it that way. For a girl from Jobek and Bumalanga and Eval, it's a lot of places I've been in. But I will talk about that on one day when it's time. Okay, we get there. I get here and then I realized one thing that connected with me most, mostly than anything else is the nature. And as the normal, it's because I didn't grow up in Makaya or in the villages or it's because I didn't for me it was like yo 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 it's like now so many trees yo grasses because where I come from guys I come from is pity pity you know so now I came it was like my zen place where I came to zen and figure out what I like what I want what I want to do like it brought a lot of zen and the pressure was not that hectic because one thing about me talking about my journey now one thing about me when I was in Joburg there was a time where I was feeling a lot of pressure and you know that pressure came with me not even understanding myself sometimes feeling like I have to always gel in in groups like I wanted to fit in and so many things I knew what I wanted of course that's a given we all living get purpose, but sometimes you don't know how to figure it out when there's so much happening. You know? Okay, sharp. Case that inhaled me when it comes to how much Zen it has given me. Yo, guys, I can't even explain it. If you know me or if you're close to me, you would know the difference. You would see. But a lot of the a lot of people will attach it with growth. Would, yeah, then it's part of growth. She was bound to grow in any ways. But for me, it's even more deep because I've seen how much growth has uh, has happened and how much I've actually invested in myself. Like yo yo yo. The amount, you know, I thought only investing is about currency. But a lot of people don't know what investing also starts with yourself. Once you invest in knowing what you are, who you are, what you like, what you don't like, what you'll settle for, what you won't. Like it helps you put you together. And a lot of people don't share these things because... I mean, maybe they don't see the reason to share. Also, my reason is to share is because my channel is about glowing. So I don't want you guys seeing me glowing and then saying, I will, she didn't tell us enough. What other things is she doing? No, just internal, internal, internal things will just come out, you know, and express themselves outside. So yeah, guys, I'm so privileged i would like to thank god almighty my spiritual team my angels to have put me together for so long when i came here i came alone i didn't have any family and i didn't even at the time remember at the time but because i told excuse me i told my stepdad that i was gonna go and work in this province and then he said oh my gosh serious because this will give you an opportunity to meet some of your family members as well Angela, Angela, Angela. this is my stepdad i remember i told you guys about that if you don't know check my other videos please this is my diary sections are linked together it's a series type of so yeah and then it was so beautiful to meet my kids and family remember we are a blended family so i met them you so much love so much laughter so much healing 
praying. I was so humbled to even know Uzi. we all believe in God. We love God. So everything just gelled. But we'll talk about that on another video as well. Because I don't want to bring a lot in this one. Then you guys are lost in the momentum of the context. So, okay, Shapo. I'm excited that I'm meeting everyone. I'm happy. I'm like, yo, thank you, Jesus. You know, a lot of healing also with family traumas because now we are getting to know each other. We are understanding each other. And then I'm also learning my um myself. I'm teaching myself things because I got so much time to myself. Like it was definitely my isolation uh, phase whereby I just had to be isolated a lot of times because I didn't have a lot of friends. I don't even want to lie. I always complain to my job and friends who say, oh, okay, da, da, da. and then uh, that isolation really helped me a lot because as much as sometimes it will be painful, but most of it, it helped me to understanding myself, grooming, being closer to God and yeah, I believe I believe this province really healed me. So uh, it's a story I'll pass down to my kids and my grandkids for them to always know. Ubuti. You know, sometimes you get into a, a circumstance and then it takes you somewhere and then you don't know what's one day that thing will benefit you, you know. And on, 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 on race, on pace, like on race, on pace, um, don't ever measure yourself to other people because you don't know what they're dealing with or you don't know what they're wishing for whatever so on race on peace understand you understand yourself and that will definitely help you figure out what you what you are what you like your purpose because all things will definitely at the end of the day work together for your good and right now i'm in a space where i am so well versed with what i like to do like career vibe i'm not career vibe i'm no longer confused and everything that i've done also the work that i've put in i believe would see it was good and i'm not saying everything was perfect but I thank God because I'm still breathing. I'm still alive. I made it out of the healing phase. And now I'm at this point where I can come to you guys and talk to you guys about it. You know, I always say this to my friends, Uguti. Whenever I have the courage to... Whenever I have the courage to talk about, let's say, breakups. Let's say breakups. Because we always talk about breakups in my in my generation so whenever i can talk about it it means i'm healing or i've healed or i'm better now it's not as bad yeah more. so yeah guys thank you so much for joining me in this video i hope you guys found a little bit of me in it because i'm just trying to also bring you guys closer as family and thank you so much guys for joining me on this one and thank you for for everybody in KZM that has shown me love, that has healed me, that has never given up given up on me. I, I appreciate you guys. And guys, and this time is kissy. God, I am so melanin, melanin. That I meant. Uh, I know a lot of KZM people don't like English. That's what another thing. Well, should I even say that? Okay, I don't know. But yeah, they don't like it when I refer to them in English. So I had to speak in Zulu. It's just me for those that might be interested. So yeah, guys, um, they are very rooted in, in culture. And as a person that enjoys culture and loves culture, I was really touched and inspired. And I've got surprises for you coming up that will link to whatever that I'm doing now. So that you guys are going to say, yeah, that makes sense. But anyways, guys, you mean I can talk for days. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for joining me on this video of me expressing how much I have healed in KZN. And yeah, it has been good. Thank you so much. Peace. See you on my next one. Bye-bye.